All right, uh, so here I want to give you a little bit of an overview of the stuff that I was hoping to go over on Friday um, before I ran off. Uh, before we go through that shameless um, sharing of some pictures, this is Callie K. Cassette. She ended up being born at 9 o'clock on Friday. Uh, so I definitely left straight from class. Um, to pick up my wife at home, and we went straight to the hospital to meet our brand new baby girl. All right, with that in mind, um, just a couple things that I want to overview. I recommend taking out your notes so you can go through this with me uh, very quickly. A couple things that I want you to write down. Um, this first warm up problem, really straightforward. I just want to make sure that you remember how to do Ohm's Law. Uh, remember, Ohm's Law triangle is V on the top, I times R on the bottom. Let's make it a little cleaner. V on the top, I times R on the bottom. So if I want to find voltage, that's just voltage is equal to I times R. So I can find ultimately my voltage in the end. Uh, 40 times 3 is 120 volts. And of course, I'd expect that on yours, you can fill in the list and the substitute as well. Turns out that every outlet here in the US has a standard 120 volts. There are some um, that don't, if it's a special outlet for like uh, a fancy washer or dryer, or if you go overseas to Europe or to the UK, um, you'll notice that the outlets look different. They don't have this exact same shape. They also have a different voltage. Uh, typically in Europe, they run about twice the voltage, so 240 instead of 120. What I want to talk about with you today, um, so that you are ready for your activity tomorrow, is this concept of power. And this is the last thing that we need to know um, going into your test for this unit. So power is the same um, property that we talked about back in work power and energy. It has a symbol of P, which means anytime we see it in an equation, We'll represent it with a P, and the units will be in watts. Or you can simplify that as a capital W. For power, there is a new equation you need to know. Remember, uh, back in a couple units ago, we talked about power being work divided by time. In this case, we want to talk about a new equation, so not this one. That one's still relevant, but our new equation is power is equal to I times V, the current times the voltage. We're going to use this equation in a couple different ways um, to solve for the electrical power of some components that we can put in a circuit. So for example, if you have a blender that runs on 5 amps of current, you know that I is 5 amps and 120 volts. V is 120 volts. That means we're looking for the power. Power is just current times voltage, I times R, or 5 times 120, leaving you with 600 watts of power. On the next slide, you'll notice different devices or different appliances that we use, use different amounts of power. Um, some key trends that we tend to notice are anything that has to do with heat generally has a much higher wattage than anything that is typically just light um, or any other electronics. Um, so keep that in mind as we start talking about other types of devices that have power. Um, the more it heats up, the more power it generally uses. That'll be true for things like a microwave, waffle iron, toaster, or hair dryer, but also true for things like light bulbs, whether it's an incandescent or an LED. Now, if we're calculating power, we typically use watts as our SI unit, but if we refer to this as the amount of power that a household has for many appliances, um, watts is not enough. Um, generally, we can convert that to kilowatts. Um, watt is our base unit here, so kilowatts from watts is just 3, not to the left, 
three decimal places to the left. Um, so 5,000 watts turns into 5 kilowatts. 25,600 watts turns into 205.6 kilowatts. Kilowatts shows up on electrical bills as our energy usage. Um, but notice that this isn't kilowatts. This is another unit that we'll talk about in a minute called kilowatt hours. K-W-H. So remember this unit. We'll talk about where that comes from. If you look at um, power usage for a four-person household throughout the year, you'll notice that the amount of power per day changes depending on the season. Um, this graphic came from uh, an energy company in Australia. So summer is December to February, or winter is June to August. Don't let that throw you. Um, you can still notice that winter, at least in this location, they use much more power than they do in the summer. Um, and you can probably guess a couple of reasons why. Um, in the winter, we typically need more lights. Um, because the days are shorter, uh, so it's nighttime for longer, more darkness. Um, you'll also notice a change depending on the location. Uh, sometimes you need more heating, and if it's a location that uses a lot of its heat as electricity heat, um, that will definitely increase the electric bill. So to calculate this kilowatt hours, you're going to take the power in kilowatts times the time in hours. So for example, if you're going to talk about that blender again, let's say, well we know it's 600 watts, but we're going to use it in kilowatts, and we run it for three hours, which would be some amazing smoothie. We would calculate this 0.6 kilowatts times three hours would ultimately give you 1.8 kilowatt hours. It's this kilowatt hours number that represents the power, the electricity that we ultimately pay for. So it's not just how powerful the device is, but how long do you use that amount of power for. So ultimately what I want you to be able to do with this is to calculate the cost um, of running a particular appliance. And we're going to go through this example um, with the cost of a refrigerator. So let's say a refrigerator draws half an amp of power when plugged into 120 volts. Current, in this case, 0 0.5 amps is our current, that's I, and V is 120 volts. That means we are looking for power Power being I times V is 0.5 times 120, or 60 watts of power. Step two is to convert that from 60 watts into its corresponding value for kilowatts. Um, three decimals to the left would give us 0 0.06 kilowatts. Okay, now that we have it in kilowatts, we can move to step three to figure out how many kilowatt hours per day. A day has 24 hours in it, so 0 0.06 kilowatts from before times the 24 hours of time in a day gives us a value of 1.44 kilowatt hours. You can write that down below. A one day for this refrigerator consumes 1.44 kilowatt hours. Um, a day is interesting, but a month is generally a little easier to think about the electricity for. So we're going to take that 1.44 kilowatt hours. We know that's per day and multiply that by 31 days in the month of January to find that the month of January requires 44.64 kilowatt hours 
of energy. Finally, step five is to add a cost to that. So we know we have a total of 44.64 kilowatt hours. And each kilowatt hour, let's say, costs 7 cents. Now this number is a little low from what it is currently. Currently we're sitting a little bit closer to 13 cents. Um, but if we multiply that by 0 .7, 0 0.07, we'll find that in the month of January, this refrigerator requires 3.12 dollars or three dollars and twelve cents of electricity which is probably lower than you were to imagine uh, but note that that is just one thing in an entire household of things that require power uh, I would like you to try this problem with the computer before you move on to anything else in work time just as a way to check your understanding of this I have posted my completed solution so you can go back and check um, but what I want to focus on so that you're ready for tomorrow is what your homework will be. Tomorrow we're going to be starting an energy audit of our homes. Um, and in order to do this, I want you to go back to your house and get a rough count of the number of light bulbs there are in your house. Now, I don't want this to be the long skinny light bulbs like the ones that are above your head right now. Um, I want these to be the light bulbs like you would generally put into a typical light bulb socket. Um, let's see if I can make this work. Right now, at home, I am sitting under lights and I've got one light bulb that is missing right there. So I'm looking at light bulbs that could fit into that socket um, and then complete my set. Um, I will give you a number as well based on what I have in my house tomorrow um, in case you